Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're gonna have a pretty relaxed video talking through three main reasons why I think you guys should study architecture. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. So, let's dive into it. Three reasons why you should study architecture. So, three reasons. Obviously, this is my opinion. I'm just gonna sit and have a relaxed conversation talking about my opinion and my thoughts and my experience. So yeah, the first reason why you should study architecture is because it is a constant challenge. But yeah, it's fun, it's a fun challenge, but the idea of studying architecture and being involved in the architecture profession it's challenging, I can't lie. Everything about architecture is challenging. The length of time that you'll be studying, getting a job, getting into practice, everything about architecture is a challenge, but it's great. So for as long as humans are around, architecture is gonna be around. People always need homes, people always need offices, people will always need uh, churches, people will always need public parks, people will always need leisure centers. As long as people are around, we're gonna need architecture, and therefore architecture is ever evolving, it's constantly changing and adapting to communities, to people, to environments, and therefore, us as designers, as architects, we're gonna to have to continually adapt our approach, our design thinking, and it's constant, which is really kind of rewarding thing, and if you are willing to be a part of that journey, it's really enjoyable, and I think if you want to go into architecture, and you want to go into something challenging, definitely dive straight into it. Dive head first into it because architecture is the challenging place you wanna be. <laughs> and within architecture, there's like this unlimited amount of possibilities because essentially architecture is subjective. It's based off opinion. And although you've got regulations and obviously certain criteria to follow for a building to stand up and those kinds of things, but when you're studying architecture, essentially it's all based off opinion and therefore you've got unlimited opportunities, which I think makes it even more exciting because You've got, you've got the world at your oyster. And as you go through your architecture journey, you have the opportunity to go down different paths and kind of specialize in different things. You could be really good at the early stages of design process. You could be really good at master plan. You could be really good at detailing and you can really become amazing at one thing, but also understand a lot of things at the same time. Which leads me into reason number two, and that is the opportunities that come with studying architecture. And the opportunity that architecture and studying architecture presents is massive. When you get involved in architecture, you're not just designing buildings, but you also become an engineer, you become a graphic designer, you become an illustrator, you become an artist, you become, I don't know, a motivational speaker and presenter because you do everything, you're involved in everything. And there's a lot of creative paths that come off from studying architecture. You become an entrepreneur, you learn lots and lots of different skills, which is absolutely amazing. And obviously, like I discussed earlier, though it's a massive challenge and it's this massive puzzle, if you come out of architecture school and go into practice and realize it's not for you, you have the opportunity to be able to maybe specialize more in graphic design and go down different routes because of the amount of skills that it gives you, the amount of things that you get your hands on when studying architecture will give you the opportunity to go down lots and lots of different routes and I think you only realize that once you start studying architecture and your eyes open up to the possibilities and actually how architecture is not just a singular kind of profession but it's also a multidisciplinary profession and you have all these different creative subjects involved in architecture and I think that is the beauty of it. And now a word from our sponsors. Yes, so this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community to help you guys as creatives to take your work to that next level. As I've been speaking about opportunities within architecture, Skillshare also has many opportunities to get involved in tutorials and to get involved in many courses that can help you guys really expand your knowledge within the creative field. And if one day you just wanna pick up a camera and film your life, create a documentary, this course right here, could be awesome for you. Creating a modern cinematic documentary film with soul. So this class covers how to make a documentary and covering how to plan, how to shoot, how to edit, and essentially just gives you an extra bit of skill that you can add to your portfolio. So if you guys wanna sign up for Skillshare, they've got a fantastic membership and the first 1,000 people to hit the link down below in the description will receive a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. So back to the video. You'll learn how to obviously draw, you'll learn how to use softwares and get really kind of tech savvy, um, which is great. You'll become a master of time management and communication. Um, obviously going through architecture school is very stressful. You've got a lot of work on and like I've already said, it's a big challenge, you've got a lot of work and therefore you'll become good at time management and understanding when to turn on and when to turn off, getting into good routines and those kinds of things. That's why I think architecture presents so many opportunities to really broaden you as a person, your skill sets, but also not just in the kind of architecture profession, but also as a human being and, and understanding different things like self-management and those kinds of things. You've got the opportunity to travel, obviously, if you're involved in projects around the globe. 
you can travel to site and, and speak to clients and different types of people across the country so it presents those kinds of opportunities as well and that leads me to point number three which is going to be impact and personally for me this is a really big one i think this is one of the main reasons why i kind of love studying architecture so much and that is the impact that you could have on someone's life you could really change someone's life from a thought that you have and essentially through your design process and your journey in producing a piece of work you have the opportunity to turn a thought into an idea into a concept into a project into a building into a life-changing building for someone so you can physically see kind of this initial thought turn into something physical which I think is absolutely amazing. One day you might wake up and have the opportunity to get involved in a project that could be changing the lives of many people and communities and individuals. And I think that is quite kind of special and unique. Not many professions and not many subjects out there have that opportunity to have such a big impact on people's lives. And essentially you can turn your creativity into physical forms that can then impact the people. And with that being said, it's also quite rewarding for you to study architecture. If you can see this process, you can see these ideas and these thoughts turn into physical forms that can impact people because you feel like you're kind of making this change in your work and your kind of effort and your hard work is really kind of impacting the lives of other people which I think is one of the main things as human beings is obviously to make a positive impact on people's lives and being a positive influence to people around you and if you can do that for your creativity and your design and your your fun in studying architecture then it's literally just a win-win and yeah that is a wrap on today's video I hope you enjoyed those three points this was me just kind of <laughs> rambling on. If you haven't yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, please smash the thumbs up button. And I'll see you next time. Peace. Drop the mic. <laughs>